Welcome to PGA's first Minecraft tutorial episode. Today we'll be showing you how to make an automatic um, collector of like farms and stuff that you've made. And um, yeah, for well for sugarcane, it's yeah. automatic sugarcane harvesting farm. I'm just sitting on my couch with my Master Chief outfit in my in my nice pimp house, and um, it's still under construction. So don't send me messages to say my house sucks like that. But it's it's gonna be awesome because I still have stuff to do. As you can see, I've got stuff done. And, um, yeah, this episode is going to be how to build an automatic sugarcane harvester. I have an example, but, oh, I forgot. Um, well, I'll just give you a quick tour. This is basically a lobby. This is going to be, like, I don't know, storage. Just, and the upstairs slash attic, or whatever you like to call it, is going to be for, for bedrooms, but, what, for this, you'll need as many rows as you want in pistons, one piston per row. Lots of wood, I don't think you need this much, but dirt, a bucket, redstone, redstone tours, and a button. So let's take all of this, and I'll begin the demonstration. So, have you ever felt lazy collecting sugar cane? It's just kind of annoying. Because you never actually want to hit it and have to just go and find it, because sometimes it falls in different places. Yes, but this one, and, um, you can just, like... It'll just drag it to one spot. And you, um, not drag it, you have to run through, but it, um, all you have to do is press a button. How fascinating is that? Just press a button. Um, this is just to keep the monsters out, so, and I'm going to come up with a better strategy. So, this is the automatic sugarcane harvester. It might look a little ugly from the outside, but as you can see, we, um, if you press the button, actually, this one is too long, so you have to press both buttons, but if it's this size, you can just like press the button and waza, sugarcane automatically collected. And I invented this on my own. And I've never seen this, so it's like this is new to me too. So when my when I go on my server, I might do this. Well, you just press a button and like look already already have like two um two sacks of well one sack of sugarcane. So and that's pretty good for just clicking a button basically. Yeah. Yeah, so for this one, I'll just teach you how to make, like, a very simple design. Um, I haven't done this in a while, so I believe I might go back a little bit, but it will, I'll remember. So, for the, I'll only make mine tiny, but you can make it long. But if it's as long as, if it's longer than it can, the redstone can carry, you'll have to have two buns. So, you need to make an infinite water supply, which is just one block, um, one water block in in opposite corners and then you're I don't know if I need the um dirt there so you're gonna take that and then this might be a little boring going back and forth to get the water but if you put it right next to yours it won't be any problem and um yeah so just fill in water I think I'll need one more bucket and then the water is... See, that's the original one where you make a four, uh, two by two square. And what you do is you just, um, yeah, put the two buckets of water in different corners and it makes just an unlimited supply of it. For people who haven't seen it before, it's just a two by two square and you take the water, put one in this corner and one in that corner and it automatically makes an infinite water supply, which is pretty sweet. And for this, you will need sugar cane, so. <laughs> kind of need to. So you'll plant that there. And put the walls around it like this. Uh, well, okay, I just realized that I might scoot this up a little bit just to just so that there's room in the back end. The sugar cane will fall off if it doesn't have any water, so that's the only reason for the water. So that the sugar cane grows and it won't fall off. So, let's just put this right here, like so, and put the four sugar cane in front of it. And for the wall, put a wall around it, right about here, like that. And go up one more level like so and um, for the four pistons you don't need sticky pistons so that's a relief yeah. for many people because sticky pistons are kind of hard to come by 
if you, but not for me. I have an awesome slime farm, so. Which he almost died in early. <laughs> yeah. And um, so you just put it like that. And I believe I'll need dirt. Sorry if I forget um, how to do this. I don't think I will. So put a block of wood on top of this. And one more layer back here of wood up here. Mm. Oh, yeah, and um, it does take quite some wood, but it's worth it. I've, I'm pretty sure it's worth it. If you are just trying to like, get some sugar cane real fast. And you can build many of these and have like an automatic sugar cane farm, which, and for the redstone, you'll just put it right, I think we'll, we need a redstone torch right here. And just line the, so you see and it pops. You can just hear it right away. And for the bun, I believe we put it right up here. Yep. Wait. Mm. Hang on. I think I am. Um, sorry about this, but I think that we don't need a redstone torch. Once if we do not, we just put that right there. That might be. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So you just press the button. It goes in, and it hits it once it's done growing. And just to kind of cover up the top, you don't have to do this, but I do recommend it. Sometimes when you leave this open, the sugar cane will pop and land on top of this, so you can just counter that with a basic, put another, um, actually, no, not a put another layer on, you can just like cover it like that. With and I've never seen this, so this is like brand new to me too. So it's it's becoming dark, so I think um I think I might go to be bed. And already you see one is grown, so sugar cane does grow fast. This is kind of like a a tiny replica, as you um just for a little to make it look not just like a chicken coop. I'll put a extra thing in the center and. I'll look at it from a distance and it actually looks pretty nice. It doesn't look just like, yeah, so. And you just press the button and voila, you get the sugar cane. Pretty simple and um, easy, but if, um, in the occasion, if um, it is extra long, you just continue going vegetable all around and take it on this side like you did on that side and put a button right here. So, it's very easy to counteract and um, yeah, so this is our first Minecraft video, and um, I'm just going to head back up to the top before the monsters get me, which is very scary. And, um, so I... That's GDP's ninja's house. He decided he should make a treehouse out of cobblestone. Um, if I would suggest making a treehouse, I would either say wood or get a shear and, and, like, take all the leaves out of trees yeah. and make one. But using cobblestone, it just doesn't look like a tree house. Yeah, so... This is D-Man in the house and the only savage um, heading out, and I'm just going to stare off into the sunset. And we just remember, hate is going to hate, lose is going to lose, and win is going to win. Peace out.